let anyone who didn't know the story of what had went on with Fifth, this is what he's been through and this is where he's at now. Puff was like, yeah, like first he was amping him to, to right. get stout. Then he was like, yo, he's like, yo, so yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like we could just hang out. We gotta, we gotta Hold kick that. it. This is Puff. Okay. He's telling me we gotta kick it and shit. And he was like, right. yo, why don't we like go shopping or some shit? I mean, like I pay for it. And I was like, what the this just say? Yep, but I ain't trying to beef with him cause he might put a hit on me like TVD. Eminem and 50 Cent have been an unstoppable duo for years, but what if I told you their unbreakable bond nearly cost them their lives? Yep, Eminem just dropped a bombshell, revealing that Diddy allegedly tried to take him and 50 Cent out. In the rap world, there's no bond like theirs. Eminem literally put 50 on the map and has had his back through every twist and turn. I don't know, it just seemed like he was the whole package. And what's crazy about it to me is his in the 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 charisma and the personality like matched, everything matched the intensity of his music. However, just recently, Slim Shady sent Diddy a chilling message that no one saw coming. Why? Because 50 Cent's been up to his usual roasting antics, and this time he might have hit a little too close to home. Diddy do it, right? Yeah, yeah. Is, I, I know, he did you, it. You've been heavy on social no, media talking about it. it. He did it. And I'm the only one who's been vocal about this long before it actually. If you know 50 Cent, you'd know he's more than just a rapper. The guy's got a reputation for his brutal, no-holds-barred verbal takedowns. Whether he's clowning around or going in for the kill, no one in the industry is safe from his comedic wrath. That's why I don't be going to the puppy parties. Uh-uh. They can hug you from the front and the back at the same time. And while some folks laugh it off, others? Well, let's just say the beefs have gotten real. But through it all, there's been one man standing by his side, Eminem. And together, their hatred for Diddy is something that runs deep. But why did Eminem finally feel the need to step in? Let's break it down. Eminem released a song in July this year on his album, The Death of Slim Shady, titled Fuel, that many didn't read a lot into, however, people have started going crazy for some of the brutal references that they think are aimed at P. Diddy. Fuel has gone viral for the lyrics that read, I'm like a R-A-P-E-R, -E got so many essays. Wait, he didn't just spell the world a rapper and leave out a P, did he? TikTok users were quick to pick up on not only the deliberate spelling of rapper, but also how P, did he, sounded just like P. Diddy. He didn't just spell the word rapper and leave out a P, did he? This isn't the first time Eminem has put references to P. Diddy in his lyrics, either. The two have had well-known beef for years. He called out the rapper in his 2018 song, Kill Shot. But Kells, the day you put out a hit's the day Diddy admits that he put the hit out that got Pac off. Fans couldn't wrap their heads around the idea that Eminem was implying Diddy ordered Tupac's untimely end. Though Tupac's tragic passing in Las Vegas happened years ago, the recent arrest of Keith D last year in connection to Tupac's shooting reignited speculation about Diddy's possible involvement. Now circling back to 50, 50 Cent and Diddy have been throwing jabs at each other for years. For starters, Fifth has always called out Diddy for allegedly being gay. You see, the G-Unit leader once made it clear that he has reservations about attending Diddy's notorious parties, which have been shrouded in mystery and the focus of endless gossip. During an unspecified concert, 50 Cent candidly shared with an amused audience that he deliberately avoids puffy parties. That's why I don't be going to the puffy parties. Uh-uh. They can hug you from the front and the back at the same time. 50 Cent has made a habit of poking fun at Diddy over rumors surrounding his sexuality. In the world of hip-hop, where rumors and gossip are almost as prevalent as the music itself, it's essential to understand how these rumors took root. It all started with a story 50 Cent shared about the time Diddy allegedly offered to take him shopping and pay for his new clothes. This incident became a focal point for 50's playful jabs at Diddy. According to 50, Diddy's offer left him bewildered. He told me to take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the f- what the- what'd you just say? Diddy, however, later explained it away as a gesture of kindness, claiming that he thought 50 needed new clothes. Yeah, I thought he needed some clothes. He doesn't even know what he's saying is like fruity. What? I'm a nice guy! While Diddy attempted to brush it off as a harmless offer, fans had a different perspective. They questioned why a successful artist like 50 Cent, who clearly had the means to buy his own clothes, would receive such an offer. This incident was just the beginning of the intrigue surrounding Diddy's behavior. The feud took an unexpected turn when Diddy made a high-profile appearance on the popular podcast Drink Champs alongside rapper Fabulous. The episode went viral, with fans and media outlets dissecting every moment of the conversation. 
50 Cent, true to form, couldn't resist the opportunity to stir the pot. He took to Instagram, posting a picture of himself in a hospital bed surrounded by stuffed animals, accompanied by the words, currently recovering from pettiness. In the caption, 50 Cent wrote, Sorry, I can no longer help you guys. Soon you will all be gay and happy. You are all left under the leadership of Puffy Daddy. Report to the nearest rainbow. These comments, as expected, set off a fresh wave of speculation and commentary. What was 50 Cent insinuating? Was there something more significant beneath the surface? While 50's words were undoubtedly laced with humor, they raised concerns about the industry's secrets and hidden agendas. One aspect that has fueled the rumors and conspiracies surrounding Diddy and other industry moguls is the world of celebrity parties. These exclusive gatherings, often attended by the who's who of the music and entertainment industry, have long been shrouded in secrecy and speculation. Fans and insiders alike have questioned what really goes on at these parties. Are they just glamorous affairs filled with music and revelry? Or do they harbor deeper secrets and clandestine dealings? Some believe that these parties are where powerful figures in the industry exert their influence and control over up-and-coming artists. The concept of doing favors for top-ranking individuals in the industry has been a persistent rumor. It's alleged that to achieve success, aspiring artists may be required to engage in activities that compromise their integrity. These rumors have circulated for years, casting a shadow over the industry's elite gatherings. Back to 50 Cent's comments regarding Diddy hugging men from behind, it's worth noting that 50 had previously addressed a similar situation a few months ago. This happened when a photo went viral showing Lil Baby being embraced by billionaire Michael Rubin and Kyle Cosma at Rubin's exclusive white party in the Hamptons. The image of this embrace raised eyebrows, as Rubin is over 20 years older than Lil Baby. Many found it inappropriate, and it prompted discussions about the nature of these interactions at such parties. 50 Cent posted this particular photo on his Instagram account, and even though Diddy wasn't present at Rubin's party, the image appeared to trigger memories of similar situations at Puffy's gatherings. In his characteristic style, 50 Cent couldn't resist commenting, See, this is why I don't go to no party Puffy and them at. What the F is going on here? Then there's the surviving Diddy documentary. Last year, a representative for 50 Cent confirmed to TMZ that the 48-year-old rapper's production company G-Unit Films and Television is developing a documentary about the allegations against Combs. The rep said proceeds from the documentary will benefit victims of S.A. and R. Jackson teased a snippet of the documentary on Instagram on Wednesday. In the clip, former Bad Boy Records rapper Mark Curry said Combs would spike bottles of Moe with a substance that would make women at nightclubs slippery. Curry alleged that Combs would tell his friends and associates not to drink from certain bottles. When well, them bottles right there, they've been to have something to make the girls be real, real slippery and all of this kind of stuff. So when you get up, they'd be like, don't touch them bottles right there. While promoting his documentary, 50 Cent took shots at rapper Rick Ross and Diddy. He highlighted a controversial line from a verse on the Rocco song UONO, where Ross raps, put Molly all in her champagne, she ain't even know it. I took her home and I enjoyed that, she ain't even know it. The disturbing lyrics added to the criticism surrounding both Ross and Diddy. Put Molly all in her champagne, she ain't even know it. I took her home and I enjoyed that, she ain't even know it. The whole idea of making a surviving Diddy documentary started as a joke on the internet, but the idea has since gained massive support. On November 18th, 2023, the Bad Boy label and record producer's poster with him sitting on a couch and posing a rose on Facebook with the title Surviving Puffy and the logo of Netflix on it. Evidently, netizens speculated that someone was making a documentary on the music mogul. Meanwhile, 50 first insinuated that he was considering making a movie called Surviving P. Diddy on November 20th. His suggestion came in the wake of Cassie's lawsuit against the Grammy winner, followed by another lawsuit filed against Diddy's colleague and former bad boy label president Harve Pierre on the grounds of AB. At the time, 50 Cent took to his Instagram and posted a since-deleted screenshot of a headline about Pierre's lawsuit followed by the caption, I told you they were coming, in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One, this is a movie, surviving P. Diddy or Diddy, Do It or Not, executive produced by Curtis 50 Cent Jackson coming soon. While the fake Netflix poster of Diddy may have been fan-made, 50 Cent meant that the film on the No Way Out rapper would be under legal scrutiny. 
Just like the 2019 documentary titled Surviving R. Kelly, it was made on the R&B singer, who has since been convicted and imprisoned following AB allegations similar to those of Diddy. In any case, Fiff has since confirmed that the documentary is actually in production. Directed by Alexandria Stapleton, this is a story with significant human impact. It is a complex narrative spanning decades, not just the headlines or clips seen so far, 50 Cent and Stapleton said in an exclusive statement to Variety. We remain steadfast in our commitment to give a voice to the voiceless and to present authentic and nuanced perspectives. While the allegations are disturbing, we urge all to remember that Sean Combs' story is not the full story of hip-hop and its culture. We aim to ensure that individual actions do not overshadow the culture's broader contributions. It is also noteworthy that 50 50 Cent's post on the Diddy documentary comprised two other related headlines, Diddy's clothing brand, Sean John being phased out of Macy's after two-decade partnership from Radar Online, and Diddy's legal battle over tequila brand, put on ice until 2024 inches from Billboard. Anyway, aside from hinting that he was thinking of making a documentary on the bad boy label producer, the Get Rich or Die Tryin' rapper also trolled Diddy when he settled the Cassie lawsuit. He joked that the defendant paid that money real quick, but not quick enough to stop other women he has allegedly AB'd over the years. For context, in November, Combs' former longtime partner, R&B singer Cassie Ventura, accused the music mogul of repeated R and physical AB spanning nearly a decade. You know that he would hire these like <laughs> workers, and like they would have you know with her or whatever, and he would watch. In her lawsuit, Ventura, who was signed to Combs' record label, said she was trapped by Mr. Combs in a cycle of AB and SA. Ventura cited numerous instances of graphic AB in her lawsuit, including alleged instances where Combs punched, beat, kicked, and stomped her. As news of Ventura's suit was breaking, Jackson took to Instagram to upload a scowling selfie. In the caption, he appeared to mock Combs' moniker, Brother Love. Damn brother love, brother love, brother love, you out here looking crazy as AMF, LMAO, he wrote. Combs and Ventura settled the lawsuit one day after she filed. We have decided to resolve this matter amicably, Combs said in a statement. I wish Cassie and her family all the best, love. In another statement, Combs' lawyer, Benjamin Braffman, clarified that the decision to settle is in no way an admission of wrongdoing. He added, Mr. Combs' decision to settle the lawsuit does not in any way undermine his flat-out denial of the claims. He is happy they got to a mutual settlement and wishes Miss Ventura the best. On her own part, Cassie reportedly added in a statement, I have decided to resolve this matter amicably on terms that I have some level of control. I want to thank my family, fans, and lawyers for their unwavering support. Now it's not just 50 Cent who has something to say about Diddy's arrest. Other rappers are speaking out, and their reactions range from shocked to outright celebratory, singer and reality TV star Aubrey O'Day, Combs' one-time protege, was one of the notable names to comment on the arrest. The purpose of justice is to provide an ending and allow us the space to create a new chapter. Women never get this. I feel validated, O'Day said. Today is a win for women all over the world, not just me. Things are finally changing. LeBron James also commented on the arrest, saying, It's crazy, I was bumping two mo money mo problem earlier today in the car, and I had a weird feeling today was the day the feds will catch Diddy. Foxy Brown also reacted on her Instagram feed, saying, Ish, about to get real crazy. Meanwhile, attorney Lisa Bloom, who is representing one of the people suing Combs, issued the following statement Monday. Given the brutal beating of Sean Combs' girlfriend caught on video, and the eight people who have now accused him of AB in court filings, including my brave client Don Richard, this arrest seems long overdue. It's a big moving day for victims, but an arrest is only the beginning. May justice be delivered to Mr. Combs. We implore other accusers to come forward in solidarity and join us in this fight. Diddy's attorney Mark Agnafilo released a statement to Daily Mail which read, We are disappointed with the decision to pursue what we believe is an unjust prosecution of Mr. Combs by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Sean Diddy Combs is a music icon, self-made entrepreneur, loving family man, and proven philanthropist who has spent the last 30 years building an empire, adoring his children, and working to uplift the black community. He is an imperfect person, but he is not a criminal. 
To his credit, Mr. Combs has been nothing but cooperative with this investigation, and he voluntarily relocated to New York last week in anticipation of these charges. Agnafilo added, Please reserve your judgment until you have all the facts. These are the acts of an innocent man with nothing to hide, and he looks forward to clearing his name in court. As it stands, Diddy is facing some of the most serious charges in modern celebrity history. According to an indictment revealed on Tuesday, music mogul Sean Diddy Combs has been accused of engaging in a long history of abusive behavior toward women and others. The allegations go back to 2008 and claim that Diddy Avid threatened and manipulated women to satisfy his desires, protect his image, and cover up his actions. The indictment describes disturbing events where women and male S workers were allegedly drugged and coerced into participating in prolonged activities referred to as freak-offs. One incident involving his ex-girlfriend, R&B singer Cassie, is said to have been recorded on video. Diddy was arrested in Manhattan about six months after federal investigators searched his luxury properties in Los Angeles and Miami during an STF ficking investigation. He was scheduled to appear in court on Tuesday to face the charges. Over the past year, multiple people have come forward, filing lawsuits against Combs, accusing him of physical and SA. These claims are now coming to light as part of the broader investigation into his alleged misconduct. The indictment paints a troubling picture of Diddy's personal life, raising serious questions about his behavior over the past decade and a half. Now that Diddy's legal battles are underway, the future looks uncertain. Will he successfully defend himself and clear his name, or are we witnessing the downfall of one of hip-hop's most influential figures? As the case progresses, all eyes are on 50 Cent, who's never shy about jumping into a controversy. With his history of public feuds and trolling, it's only a matter of time before he makes his next move. Could we see a diss track, more social media jabs, or something even bigger brewing between these two? One thing is clear, this story is far Far from over and the drama is just heating up. As Diddy fights to maintain his legacy, 50 Cent remains on the sidelines, ready to strike with his usual sharp humor and cutting remarks. But is this just the start of a deeper feud, or could it be the tipping point in hip-hop's most explosive rivalry? Only time will tell. Anyway, that's it for this video folks, bye.